Let's kick this thing in the ball bag. Let me tell you about the snake. I'm gonna do two gigs, my gig, uh, where we do all the hanging of the, and torching of the, oh, what, I, won't, I won't say too much, of the elephants. <laughs> the magical theater show. Uh, but the main one uh, is Shitbox, probably. That'll be good, because I'll just bring on all the freaks and the audience hopefully know that uh, the reason they're all there is because it's, these are all alternative, because that's the way comedy's going, I hope now. We're taking it back. But well, the alternative scene's quite mainstream now. It's all noticing stuff, boys in t-shirts. You've been around Edinburgh. How many posters have you seen of a boy in a t-shirt with some hair going? Like, I would like to go see that. That sounds really rude, doesn't it? And it is. <laughs> okay. Gok one. 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 He's not gonna just say Gok one over and over again, is he? Gok one. 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 No, Gok! You lost! You <laughs> see? All good this year. Normally, I would have a big long story for you. Oh, yeah, one guy gave me a two, one guy gave me a. No, not this year. Fours and fives. Every time a four comes out, I get shit about it. Now I'm turning into a total prick. But every time a four comes out, I go, that is bullshit. Should be five. And so when I get to Edinburgh and finally get fours and fives, loads of fives, that when you get a four, it's like, it's gutting. And they go, yeah, but it's national press. You've not had national press in ever. But still, it sort of mortified me. The Times and the Telegraph have not told me how I could make it better. They've basically said it was brilliant. And then gone, four. And I've gone, you right-wing cunt. It's impossible. It's impossible to be a really right-wing comedian. I think it's absolutely impossible because uh, all the right-wing comedy is uh, making fun of the weak. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's impossible. The best comedy comes from making fun of those more powerful than you. And that's why the Times and the Telegraph struggle to know how to rate comedy. But then so did The Observer and The Guardian because they're all fucking fags. Am I right? You're allowed to swear on this, right? Yeah, well, you fucking yeah. homos. <laughs> God, The Observer, pack of fags, eh? Oh, that was so homophobic. Was it? I don't think it was. Now, it's expensive to organize, but if you got the money and you got the time, organize yourself a fight between a black bear and a shark. <laughs> now, what you're gonna need is to start out is a shallow wading pool. Any old wading pool will do, but uh, I use one with aluminium sides, or aluminum, if you will. <laughs> then you fill it up with water, and then you introduce your shark. And I use a tiger shark. I don't know why they seem more bitey. <laughs> then you go into your house, and you get your paints, and you come out, and you paint him up to look like a salmon. <laughs> with you, that's the funnest part of the day. <laughs> we should do more dangerous art together, shouldn't we? Have? Hello, Galway. My name's Anthony Law, and I know Vercrate. But I want to make jams. Damn, I know I'll slam. Huh. Well, it's not that easy. You got to get a label that's willing and able to market and promote. And you better hope. For what? That the product is dope. Um, Andrew Maxwell, could do him. I read books! That's the only thing I can do. He does, he reads a lot of books. He reads a shitload of books, and well done him. He's a working class man who reads books and then digests the information and spews it out in an incorrect way. But funny. <laughs> He'll never watch this, but I hope he does. We'll have a laugh.